And welcome to Locker Room OT right here at Thornberry Creek Golf Course at Oneida Country Club. Not even Country Club, it's just at Oneida. I just stuck that in there. Time now to talk some high school football. He is Dustin Gresson, Preble's head coach, and we've got, and I'm going to get this right, Nick Rainier, captain, senior, wide receiver. How you doing, big man? Good. Nice seeing you. Well, coach, tale of two games so far to start the season. Another quality Hornets group that you've got over there. Um, what do you like most about these kids so far, and what do they need to work on as we get rolling to week three? So the thing I like most about these guys right now is their chemistry with each other. So now that we're in year two of our offense that we've installed, we were leaps and bounds ahead of last year. So to see them clicking on all cylinders has, has been awesome, and there's still a lot of mental mistakes we had offensively and defensively. So as we improve those from our coaching standpoint, um, I, I know we're going to do great things this year. Nick, for you, there's not a lot of sophomores that play in the FRCC. You played a lot last year as a junior. What have you seen now as a senior, now, now that you've got that second season going and a full year under your belt and a new, new coaching staff and a new scheme? I think we're much better this year. Our team is definitely a lot closer than it has been in years past, and that definitely helps on the field when someone's down, everyone else is there to pick them up right away. Coach, Friday night, uh, tough one against Bayport. You hung in there until the very end. They put up some points. Shame on you, Westy. No. Anyway, he'll be on the show, too. But look, that's a tiebreaker that, that a lot of these conferences have. And for you guys, now you know what the level that is and what you need to do to improve to get there, right, I would assume? Yeah, absolutely. Hats off to, to Bayport. They played a more fundamentally sound football game than we did. So as we watched the film, every play that – they had a huge gain on or, or a positive play for them was mental mistakes or assignment errors on our side. So the great thing about football and being early in the season is we can coach, fix those mistakes, and then set these guys up to be successful in the playoffs. Good pir The Pirates are a good measuring stick though, right, Nick? Because now you, you, it, you, if you want to get to where you want to go, which is Madison for everybody, you'll probably have to go through them at some point in time, right? Most likely, yeah. I think we can do it for sure too. Coach, what do you think about uh, the way these kids started the season? When you pitch a shutout against a De Pere team that was expected to do pretty well, that, I mean, in our sports office, we live, whoa, that was kind of the, if there was one statement game in week one, it was yours. Yeah, I think you said it exactly. Whoa was right. Um, even from our, us as a coaching staff, they, the scrimmage, we, uh, we looked good against Nina. But then when we came out and played the defense, the swarming defense that we did to pitch a shutout, in that first game against a quality football team in the pier. Uh, we, were, we were excited and knew that this season there's going to be great things that will come out. What do you like about this guy right here from a leadership standpoint? He wouldn't be a captain if he wasn't one. Well, he, he leads by example. He's, he's a very good player. Uh, he, he broke the school record list last Thursday against Bayport with his catches, nine catches. So that's awesome. So one, he does it on the field, but he is also on our leadership council that we, we have built over at Preble and he's one of our big leaders there and he was nominated by his teammates just by his his work ethic and how, how hard he works and it isn't i mean he's a tall dude six four yep you can't he does more than just go get it just throw it up and go get it right oh yeah absolutely he, he's a very good route runner um if he chooses to play at the next level he's he, there's going to be a lot of a lot of colleges looking at him and i will be excited to have him as, an, as a wide receiver for him. and football is not the only thing you do no i jump and Track. Where are you at for high jump? Like what height? Like your, your, your personal best. 6'2". 6'2", so that's working on it, getting it up there. Yeah. That's good. Well, looking at the schedule ahead now, you got a Schwaben on Friday night, one of the few teams that are 2-0 and left in the uh, FRCC. What do you know about them? First year coach? Yeah, so very... Not first year overall, first year first with the year, program. Yeah, first year with a Schwaben on. Um, so we broke down some film and uh, kind of the same formations that we just saw from Bayport. So. Uh, we, we know what we're going to see with that, and uh, I think we match up well. They have some big guys up, up front, but I think we're more athletic and stronger than they are. So uh, as long as we show up and have play disciplined football, uh, I, I think we will be on the W side of that. Uh, so it, it's the kids' choices on, on how they're going to play on, on Friday night. And right. It's nice to get back to Friday night. Too, right, so. the Thursday night ones. We don't like it because it's during the Packer games, and then we got to pick and choose. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I would rather choose that, but then I didn't see the game. I have yep. to go back and watch the game. All right, last year you started the season with six straight wins, automatically qualified for the postseason. 
tough three-game stretch to end it, and you face the team who scrimmaged, Nina, in the postseason. So here's how your schedule stacks up. Like we mentioned, you got the Jaguars coming up. After that, Pulaski. Then a pair of road games, Sheboygan North and Green Bay Southwest. And then it's Notre Dame back at your house, who, by the way, lost to Sheboygan South for the first time in, what, nine years or something? And, they, and Sheboygan South has only beat them three times, I guess, in their program history. So this could be a, a critical stretch here. I mean, Schwabenon, Southwest, and Pulaski, you got to get two, of, two out of three, right? Hopefully all three, but... Right. One of the goals is that our program is to, to make it to the playoffs. So yep. uh, to be able to do that, we got to go 1-0 and each week. So right now we're most concentrated on Ashwaubenon. Um, so we'll take it week by week, and the kids know that we have to concentrate one game at a time and execute, and then our, our goals will fall in place as we go 1-0 and every week. Nick, you excited about the stretch run here? For sure. Opponents get bigger and better? Yeah. I think, mean, like Coach said, they just harp on us about going 1-0 and every week, and... Just focus on Ashwaubenon right now. Well, he's got over 200 yards already. I mean, by the end of the year, you keep throwing it to him, he might might get to 1,000. Who knows? <laughs> that would definitely be a school record. We know that. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Nick Renier, Pir- or Pre- uh, Preble Hornets uh, wide receiver and senior captain, head coach Dustin Gresson. Appreciate you stopping by absolutely. for Locker Room OT. Thanks for tuning in online. You can catch it at wearegreenbay.com. <laughs>